Jimin woke up as if it's an emergency like sleeping had become a dangerous thing. His eyes greet the day shine, his heart and lungs expand. There was a buzzing in his brain. He sat up and took off the headphone that still attached to his head. The music is still playing. Jimmy, he looked at the headphone that belongs to one of his altar. He put the headphone on the side table. What happened? Did Jimmy show up last night? He decided to meet you at the bar. He saw you with Oath and the twins Nathan and Matthew. Then he got headache and someone took over him. Why did Jimmy showed up? Since today is Saturday, he decided to just being lazy the whole day. But since there was an altar who showed last night, he should take a look what else he or they have been doing. There was CCTV at every corner of his bedroom. His uncle told him it was one of the ways to see what his altars did. What his altar did every time they appears. Jimin got up and went to the hidden room and sat on the chair facing a computer which showing four different screens of every corners of his bedroom. He checked the video recorder from last night. His eyes widened when he saw him and you. He kept watching them. Too bad he couldn't hear what they were saying. Then his eyes widened when he saw himself kissing Viney. I mean you. The him doesn't look like Jimmy at all. He looked like Jim because only he had a gut to talk with you who he talk, thought as Kia. They look like bickering about something when Jim kept pecking and kissing your lips. Unconsciously, Jimmy touched his lips and started blushing. It's still my lips. My lips had touched Wyan's lips. His eyes widened again when he saw Jim pinned you on the bed when you tried to get up. He gulped. He couldn't stop blinking while looking at himself. I mean Jim, who was hovering you. He just couldn't stop blushing. He could feel his cheeks getting hot like a burning pan. He couldn't believe Jim was this brave. He got confused when Jim's attitude suddenly changed. He was swiping his lips furiously when, in fact, he was the one who started kissing you and looked so hungry to taste your lips. They were talking about something and did he already said that he couldn't hear what they were talking about. He guessed he should use mic recorder too. He's really curious at what they were talking about. They look so serious. Wait, did you cry? What happened? Why did you cry? He saw on the screen that you left the room while wiping your tears. He didn't know why you cried but Jimin hate to see your tears. He kept monitoring himself, who just stood there like he was having a deep thought. He is still not sure who was he but he is sure it's not Jim anymore. Then he went to the bathroom and Jim and waited for himself to get out. Once he got out, he walked to the wardrobe and wear a pajama, then walked to the hidden room and walked out with a headphone. With the headphone in his hand. It's really Jimmy. What did he do do to you? Why did you cry? The only person who have the answer must be you. He need to meet you right now. Apologize to you if he have to. No, I mean he should really ask for your forgiveness from the big name. You couldn't sleep peacefully since last night. Your mind just couldn't stop thinking about last night. You have been crying since last night. Sometimes you fall asleep but then you woke up again. You keep falling asleep while crying but again you woke up like there was something doesn't want you to, f to fall asleep. Are you falling for Jimin or Jim? The question that Jimmy asked you still left unanswered. What Jimmy said to you last night? got you woke up for the whole night you couldn't stop thinking about it
If you know about Jimin's DID, why did you give in so easily? Are you falling for Jimin or Jim? Jimmy asked you and made you realize what he said was true. It's not like you couldn't push Jim away when he kissed you, but you're giving in to him so easily. Are you really have feelings for Jim? That's why you couldn't stop thinking about the kiss when you first met with Jim. I think you really have fallen for Jim. What's your name? Yan. Okay, Yan. You have to listen to me. You know that Jimin is suffering from DID. You know Jimin's body is not only belongs to him. There are we who living inside him. If you really fall for Jimin, please try to forget your feelings. It's impossible to be happen. And if you fall for Jim, you will only. get hurt because if we appear we don't share same feelings as jim so you better forget about your feelings for jim from now on he said and you wiped your tears that already rolling down non-stop on your cheeks why did he talk like it was all your fault he didn't know anything but he said these words like he knew about everything and blamed you you are just a victim of circumstances Please think carefully, Vyan. You shouldn't have a romantic feelings with someone who suffers from DID, and it even worse to fall in love with an elders. He said, and you looked up. When you stared at him, you could see Jim, and it's feel like you got rejected before you could even confess your feelings. You had nothing to say now, so you stood up and just walked away, leaving him. A sigh escaped from your mouth as you recall the event of last night. Suddenly, someone knocked the door, and you immediately closed your eyes and pretended to sleep. Vyan, have you already awoke? Your friend is here to meet you. Your mom said before she locked the door again. Your friend, who? Bella. You immediately sat up. Just ask him or her to come to my room, mom. I still feel sleepy to get out. You yelled and lied down again. You heard someone open the door, then closed it. I'm too lazy to go out, Bella. You said lazily without looking at her. I'm Jimin, not Bella. You immediately looked at your side as soon as you heard the familiar voice. You sat up and looked shocked to see Jimin was there, stood at the end of your bed. What are you doing here? Your eyes. How long you have been crying? He asked instead of answering you. Your eyes must be look so swollen right now from crying the whole night. This is so embarrassing. I come here to apologize to you. He said and you looked up at him confused. Apologize? For what? I'm sorry for what Jim have done to you last night. Your eyes widened looking at him. He knew that Jim kissed you last night. And whatever things that Jimmy have said to you last night, I'm so sorry on behalf of him. How did you know? You ask curious. Well, I know when someone appears, there's a CCTV in my bedroom and I checked it to see what happened. And I saw you with Jim and then with Jimmy. I don't know what you guys talked about, but if you don't mind, would you like to share it with me? I, I, you didn't know what to say. Should you tell him that you have feelings for Jim? But you are still confused about it and still not sure if you really have feelings for him or not. You only met him twice. He might look at you crazy if you confess that you have fallen for Jim. Just like what Jimmy said to you last night, it's impossible and so wrong. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I understand if it's between you and my altars.
I just thought that I should know because it involved my alters. But if you don't want to tell me, it's okay. I won't force you. If they did wrong to you, will you accept my apology on behalf of them? Why are you keep apologizing? You never did wrong, Jimin. You are making me uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. I mean, don't be uncomfortable. This is just my me. I always apologize to people on behalf of my alters. He said, smiling. But you knew he just tried to be fine by showing his cheerful smile. Suddenly, he kneeled down. I'm sorry, he said in apologetic manner again. You got down from the bed and approached him. Sunbene, you don't have to. I should apologize to you since the beginning. Because of me and my alters, you are involved with us. I'm sorry for everything, he said lowering his head. Because he was taking care of the things his alters did. He was being battling hard alone. Apologize when it was not really his fault as if he was fighting a battle that would never end it. Sunbe, I'm sorry Vyan, he said again still on his knees. It's okay, there's nothing to be sorry about. I'm glad to know about you Jimin. You are the strongest human being that I ever met. Stop saying sorry. It's never been your fault, Jimin. You said unconsciously, already sniffing. Oh God, if only you could take his pain away. When you hugged him, he felt overwhelmed. No one have ever did this to him. No one ever hugged him when he broke down. Not even his parents or best friends. All they said, everything will be okay. Then he patted his shoulder to give their support. Stop saying sorry, it's never your fault, Sunbe. You said while sniffing. Why he is crying? He still didn't understand. It was so wrong to be involved with him, especially when you are the one that Jim have been searching for and the one who Changming hates the most. He still didn't know what was the reason behind this, but you shouldn't be involved because they are dangerous. You still didn't aware of that. I'm sorry for wetting your dress. He said once he let go of the hug. How he wished they could stay hugging each other a little bit longer. It's okay. You gripped his hand and pulled him to stand up. Then you both sat on your bed. You let go of his gripped arm once again he felt disappointed. Jimin wished you could held his hand a little bit longer. Why did he launching for your touch? Was it because of the horny Jim? When he looked at you, he couldn't stop staring at your lips. He gulped and remembered about Jim who kissed you last night. Unconsciously, Jimin licked his lips. Damn you Jim. Jimin, are you okay? Your wife woke up woke him up from daydreaming about you. Um, I'm okay, he nodded. Yen, what will you do if my altars showed up? Changmin almost killed you and Jay put you in danger. And then this Jim guy, who will never stop bothering you. Do you think you can handle them if they came to you? He asked and he looked ahead with a lot of thoughts. Hmm, don't know, but don't you think that you need me? I need her? What did she mean? He thought. He just looked at you confused. Since I have seen with some of your alters, I think you need me to find out what is that all about. You need me to find out why Changmin hates me or why Jim believe I am Kia. But at the end, I would only put you in danger. What if Changmin try to kill you again? You almost died because of me. And you also say quiet. I don't want to. Believe me, Jimin. I am stronger than what you think. You said persuaded you. Well, this girl is so stubborn. But at the same time, Jimin felt grateful that he didn't scare you, scare of you. She is a brave girl. So, do you want to know about my alters more? Just in case they shows up, they will not doubt you because you already know a lot of things about them. Sure, you answered cheerfully. 
Let me tell Taehyung and Jungkook to come to my house. They also know a lot about doll tours. He said and took out his phone and sent them a message. At least one of them should be there with you both. He don't want to be alone with you because he don't know what will happen if someone suddenly shows up and then hurts you again. Sinbai, before we going to your house, can you buy me an ice cream? You already promised me. You said grinning and he looked at you uh, bewildered. You are really a kid. Sure, one strawberry and one chocolate, isn't it? He asked and you nodded while grinning cutely. Well, he couldn't blame Jim anymore. Now he knew why he always jumped at you because this girl is just so adorable. He wanted to squish your cheeks and kiss your lips but he resist himself. Jim, what if he, he fall for you? Bella woke up due to the pain in her head. She felt headache as soon as she opened her eyes. Her head felt throbbing and like would explode any soon. She couldn't remember anything that happened last night except that she was dancing crazily with Jackson and got drunk. She stretched her hand to search for her phone on the beside table. Once she got it, she tapped open the screen to see what time it, it is but her eyes opened wider when she saw the wallpaper. Since when did I change my wallpaper? She asked herself. Her voice sounded hoarse. She sat up, ignored the pain in her head as she leaned her back towards the headboard. She looked at the beside table and found another phone. She took it and tapped open the screen. It was her phone. Well, Taehyung and Bella had the same model of a smartphone and both didn't use password in their phone. She looked at the screen, mesmerized the face. Taehyung loved himself too much, she said sarcastically. Why did Taehyung's phone is with me? What happened last night? As she was about to call you, Taehyung's phone suddenly binged a message came in. She didn't want to take a look at the message but when she unconsciously tapped open the message from a group named Three Musketeers and saw your name, she got so curious. So she read the message. Guys, come to my house right now. I decided to let Kimaya know more about them. Help me. Jimin? Them? Whom? What is he going to do with Yan? She got curious and worried at the same time. She was typing something and then sent the message in the group chat. Where are you right now? Tell Yan about what? But she got on no reply. Soon a message from Jungkook popped up. Jimin is Vyan's house. He asked me her phone address only in the morning. But Jimin, are you sure you are gonna let Vyan know about them? Bella was more confused as she read Jungkook's message. Who is them? She asked herself. Suddenly, bedroom door opened by someone and her eyes widened when she saw the young was there also looked at him shocked. You are awake? I, I prepare breakfast for you. And a hangover soup? He said and Bella looked at the tray of food in his hands. Taehyung walked to her after closing the door. He put the tray on the beside table and looked at Bella, confused, when saw his phone in Bella's hand. What does this mean? Bella asked and showed him the conversation. Taehyung just looked at her with unreadable expression before he took his phone from Bella. You shouldn't pay, play with my phone. Bella just glared at him. What are you guys trying to do with Vyan? We didn't do anything. If I get to know that you or Jimin hurt my best friend again, I will kill all of you with my bare hands. Bella said and showed her fist. Taehyung just chuckled. Bella looked like a kid tried to threaten a big kid who tried to steal her toys by leaning a punch with his small fist. But he knew Bella was...
was not kidding and her fist might be stronger than anyone because Jimin almost got broken jaw when Bella punched Chang Min last night last time eat your breakfast i'm going now take care he said and ruffled bella's messy hair wait did you bring me home last night bella asked and they all nodded are you sleeping here last night she asked and they all nodded again where well, right next to you of course i'm not going to sleep in the couch i didn't see anything wrong with that Young said and winked at her before he left, leaving Bella who was sitting embarrassed on the bed. I couldn't believe I sleep with my crush, she said and hided herself under the blanket. So that's it, Jimin said as he folded his arm together across his chest. You know that understood while examined the pictures on the whiteboard about Jimin's alters like their name, ages, personalities and behaviors. So if you encounter with any of them, it's better to hold them back. Don't ever let them go away from your eyes, Taehyung said and gave a reminder to you. I understand. And you have to be extra careful if Changmin or Jay showed up. They are the most problematic one. Jungkook added and you nodded at him. But don't you want to add additional information about Jim? Since when he is searching Kia too? You said as you looked at Taeyong before he looked at the whiteboard. To what? To someone he loves? Jim confessed to me that he loves me. No, I mean Kia. He keep asking me, I mean Kia, to be his girlfriend. You said, if he asks you again to be his girlfriend, what will you say? Jimin asked with a fixed intent looked at you. Don't know. You said as you avoided the gaze. What about if you accept him? Just pretended that you also love him. So that we will know what he's gonna do next? Taehyung suggested. No, I am not agree with the idea, Jimin said flustered. And why is that? Jungkook gave him a meaningful look. Because my alters also have feelings, I don't want to give Jim a fake hope because who? Who knows what will he do if he become angry or sad once he know why and is lying to him. The other alters might also got affected and I will be the only one who will suffer the most. Jimin said his reasons. So what do you suggest? Taehyung asked. I don't know. Jimin said and sighed. But what if I really have feelings for Jim? You asked. Are you serious? Taehyung asked shocked. I said if. You shouldn't have feelings for my ultras, Ryan. It sounds so wrong. This is my life, not theirs. Jimin said and gave you a look that he was disappointed at you. When you looked at him, Jimin's eyes reminded him about Jimmy. Then Jimin left the room without saying anything. Hey, Ryan, I think Jimin is right. It's wrong to fall for an ultras. Young said as he patted your shoulders. But if you fall for Jimin, maybe I can still give you my support. You two are cute together. He said again and laughed before he left the room. Ryan, don't distress yourself. Jungkook said and smiled at you when he saw you seem Seems like having a long thought. I have to go now. You have my number, right? Just call me anytime if you need help, okay? He asked you, you nodded. And Jungkook, I'm sorry about what happened between you and Jackson. Hmm? I 
I'm trying my best to pursue Jackson, not to broke friendship with you, but he is so stubborn. Thanks for your support, Yan. But you don't have to worry now. We are friends now. What? When? Last night, Junko giggled, embarrassed. Oh, the only words you you could say. Hey Mayan, someone said your name and you searched for the voice. You saw Nathan and his twin Matthew waved their hand and sing towards you. It was a lunch time. Since he was alone, well, Jackson was with Jungkook, while Bella was back with her falling head over heels with Taeyong, and Win was with her boyfriend Bright. Looked like your cousin, and your best friends were so in love until they forget about you. Why you are still single though? Love is stink. You are alone. Where's Bella and Winto? Matthew asked when you sat beside him. You just smiled at him as an answer. Suddenly, why you got startled when someone's wrapped around your neck and sat beside you? Actually, he was squeezing his big body between you and Matthew. Earth, there's so many space, but you, why you are sitting here? Matthew asked annoyed when he got squished by Earth's big body. At the end, he gave up and sat beside his twin. Earth just ignored him, but instead he looked at you and you started to get all flustered. Earth, why are you always disturbing us? Nathan asked and also got annoyed. Who is disturbing you? I am coming for Wong Yen. He said while his eyes still looking at you made you become so uncomfortable. You tried to get away from his grip, but the more you tried, the more tightened his grip around your shoulder become. So you just gave up. Earth, Matthew and Nathan went at the same time. Shut up or I will give you two a punishment like cleaning the pool. Earth said smoking and just like that, the twins shut their mouth. Oh, I forgot to tell you that Nathan and Matthew were in the swimming club and Earth was their president. That was why the twins were so obedient towards Earth, because they might had a hard time because of him, I guess. Only Earth could control the troublemaker twins. Yan, where are you going after your class finish? Earth asked you and finally let go of his grip. Ha, huh? I'm going home straight. Nice, then you can you come with me? Where? To the new dessert cafe across our university. I know you like desserts, am I right? I love dessert too. Can we come along? Nat and Matt asked. Sure, but got there by yourself, pay for yourself and don't you dare to sit on the same table with me and Wong Yan. Earth said and the twins gave him their annoyed look. Are you in love with Yan or what? Nathan's question made you off guard. So what if I am? Your eyes I widened, hearing Earth's answer. He didn't even have any hesitation to answer the question. That means you have to compete with us then. Nat said and crossed his arm across his chest. You look at the twins and they gave you a serious look. Believe me, even though the twins were playful and untroublemaker, but once they put their serious face, it makes they were serious with. Serious with everything. What they said, I think. You don't like this kind of conversation where you felt like you were trapped in the middle. You don't like where this conversation will going. Uh, I please stop staring at me. Oh, Yan, there's your savior. You sigh relief when you saw Bella was coming towards you. Here you are. Can you?
Yes, I can. Let's go. You sat and grabbed her arm, then pulled her with you when she was about to sit down. What? I haven't finished talking yet. You can read mine right now. Wait. Slow down. I have a short legs. Bella's voice echoed around the canteen when you pulled her out away from the situation. Yes, you are running from a problem, a big problem that involved three handsome hyenas. You was waiting in front of the university's gate when Bella excused herself went to the toilet. You was anxious. You hoped you was not encounter with the twins or earth because of the incident at the canteen before you felt so uncomfortable when you saw Nathan, Matthew and Earth and you would try to avoid them as much as you could. You were standing but someone approached you. You were still unaware of that someone's presence because you was too focused playing games. What are you, a kid? That someone said when he took a look at what game you was playing. You look up to the person, eyes widened and you almost drop your phone if not because of that person who held his hands. Calm down, I am I am here to apologize. The person said immediately when he sensed your nervousness. You, you. Please calm down. I don't want you to get a stomach attack again because of me. The person said worried. I'm okay. I'm just shocked to see you here. You said and released yourself from the person's grip. You don't have to apologize. Or, or I already forgive you and you also saved me. So we are even. You said. Wong Wayan. How do you know my name? I don't know if you will believe me, but I think I am hey girl, I'm in love with you. Wait, what day is today? Is it Valentine's Day or April Fool April Fool's Day? Why you are getting so many confession today? The twins earth and now the person who kidnapped you before